Trossa here, post game with Coach Childs. After it's a good victory over a tough Nazareth team, they were very poised there in the fourth quarter, Coach. And what did you see from those guys? Uh, there's no fight in them. You know, we, we got off to a, uh, an early lead, and uh, or sorry, I should say, there's no quit in them. Um, <laughs> they uh, they definitely um, came out and, and were real aggressive to the goal, and, and they've got one of the best faceoff guys in the country, and and. Um, kept getting them possessions, and um, you can't give them the amount of possessions that we were giving them and, and expect to uh, keep them off the scoreboard too long. And, and we were fortunate in the first half we were able to do that, um, and, and they wore us out a little bit in the second half. Um, but uh, a credit to their team. Um, they, they came out in the second half and um, really fought for the ground balls and, and turned them into to good possessions. And we just didn't have the ball a lot in the second half after having it quite a bit in the first. Austin Glab is one of your guys that's from around the area. He played his high school across at Calvert Hall. Three first quarter goals. Is it, is it the type of homecoming that inspires the kid, or what do you think? You know, I don't know. I think uh, I don't know that it matters where we're playing to him. Um, but he's a good shooter, and he got the first one. And if he gets the first one, um, that's a that's a big deal for him. And uh, so his shooting percentage was pretty good today. And uh, didn't take too many shots as the game went on, but the the ones that he got early on, he he made the most of. The snowstorm really hammered the majority of the Northeast earlier on in the week. It kind of altered your practice schedule. Do you think that impacted today at all? No, I don't. I mean, I, I think um, I would rather take this winter over. The, or, or we got so many good practices in early on, whereas usually you might you might be struggling early on. And so um, we got a lot of practices in early on to, to, to get good, you know, at the um, riding and the clearing and, and, and things like that. And, and in a weird way, I mean, we were excellent. We were five of seven on man up today. And when you're stuck in the gym, one of the things you get you have plenty of time to do is man up, man down. And um, so maybe in a weird way, the snowstorm helped us because we were five of seven on the man up and um, they were 0 of seven on the man up. So maybe maybe there was a blessing in disguise. What did you see from Landry Marshall today? Yeah, he's real steady for us, and he's a great leader. Um, it's kind of having a coach on the field um, in our goal, and um, he really communicates. He, he's um, He's got the scouting report down for us. He communicates it out there, and he just cares so much. Um, and that, that um, goes a long way in that position. When you have a goalie that is that great of a leader, um, it, it goes a long way. Two games in 24 hours. What's tonight going to be like? Yeah, we get we have the luxury of not being too far away, so we get to go home um, and have the luxury of our own training room and dining hall and um, and, and things like that. So um, we'll get out of here. We'll go back and uh, you know try to do whatever we can for recovery and uh, come back and play a great team tomorrow. All right, Coach, thanks for your time. Best luck tomorrow. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Coach Childs, Bob Trossett, here now two games into the eight-game 2017 Mustang Classic.